Inky friends. So I found this tin of Leonard nibs and I believe I bought this as a set and they came with the nibs and a lot of these are so sort of, I don't want to say knockoffs, but I want to say very, very strongly inspired by other brands. And I think I may have some mixed stuff in here. Anyway, I thought what we could do today is I thought we could test some of these out, figure out if any of these are any good. And then if any of them are good, we can go ahead and do nib reviews for them since I kind of end up enjoying the nib reviews. So, zoomity zoom that camera. We have a Hunt School, so they're not all Leonard. We have a, oh, I can't read that. It's a Hunt something. A Hunt 108, I believe. We have a Hunt 107. We have a, ba, 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 a Hunt drawing nib number 66 we have a hunt extra fine which i think we already did the hunt extra fine are any of these leonard nibs we have a leonard number 40. we have a this is actually the browse so this is the the copycat and this is the browse steno and you guys saw my browse steno review here on the channel we have a hero Leonard. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever done any of those. And we have a Hunt 102. So we have a scant handful of hunts. Actually, we have mostly hunts. So we're not going to do the Hunt Bowl nib. We're just going to put that in here with the other Hunt Bowl nib. No point in reviewing that twice. We are going to take a look, I believe, at these other nibs. And we're going to use the same ink we've been using in the same sketchbook, in fact. We're using the Denik Inktober, like so it's the Denik Inktober Partnership from 2016. And we are using FW Acrylic Ink. And I'm going to use the Tachikawa nib holder when I can, and I will note when I can't. So we are going to start, we're gonna start actually with the brow steno. That'll be a good reference point. Mentioned in that video, it's a very, very flexy nib. Not overly scratchy. It is designed for writing, not necessarily for inking. And it drops a lot of ink. And I will wash these after the video. I'm going to wipe it off for now because we're going to move through these kind of quick. Oh, and I have a cat forcing his way onto my lap. Lucky me! All right, here is the Leonard. Oof. Cat, 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 cat. Fussing at me now. Ooh, come on. Very flexible as well. Possibly more prone to railroading and dropping the ink. Little scratch here. So they're fairly similar. All right, next on our tour de nib. We're gonna actually grab the that's the Hunt School. Sure, why not? Grab the Hunt School nib. And it really does not want to go in this. Let's try the Koenor holder. Doesn't want to go in that. All right, means we got to dig up 
the speedball holder and see if it will go in the speedball holder. That's not good. People shouldn't have to own like six different holders. There we go. Okay. Not bad, a little scratchy. Good amount of flex. Can do very fine lines. Can do decently thick lines. I think this one warrants further testing. I'm gonna end up with super inky fingers after this. So I will probably not further test Leonard's uh, steno variation. Next to Lee is the Hunt drawing. Looks like 99, I assume. Mm, look at this. It's like a little tiny fingernail. Let's see if we can get it to go in the Tachikawa. No. Hmm. <laughs> We can, however, by putting it in the middle of the ferrule, get it into the Koenor. Oh, it's one of those super duper flexy ones that I'm going to have so much trouble with. I find these really, really flexy ones also tend to be really prone to like dying quickly. I guess it's a good thing they're cheap because you're always replacing them. I think it's because they're too soft, to be honest. So even though I know this nib is gonna give me a fit later because of how soft it is, and I'm very heavy handed, as you guys have figured out. I am going to put it in my for further review pile. We can talk about it more in depth because it's an interesting nib. Uh, all right, next up is the Hero Leonard number 41. And I got it jammed in the Koenora holder, which isn't good. Let's try it in the Tachikawa. There we go. Leonard nibs seem to fit okay in the Tachikawa. Hmm. Well, it's a pretty good amount of ink. Can put down some really nice thick lines. Not overly scratchy, although I think all the Leonard nibs are scratchier than Japanese nibs. That is another one for the further testing pile. And that leaves us with three crow quills. Now, where will you guys fit? This is a Hunt 107. Will you fit in here? Yep, good. Sort of. Sort of it will. Fairly stiff. Very scratchy. Ugh. I don't know, I'm not much of a crow quill person anyway, so maybe I'm not the one to ask. I will go ahead and put it in the further testing pile. I have found that the Hunt crow quills are very prone to dying quick. Quick, sad, short little deaths. 
And now I can't get it out of the holder. I need to get one of those nib grips from Goulet Pins. I'm going to be using dip pins because that would be perfect for this. Okay, into the further consideration pile you go. Next is the hunt. Boop, 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 boop. Come on. Hunt 106? They print the names on these so tiny. And I'm running out of page room that isn't wet. Whoa, it's so flexible. Hunt 1. Oh, and splattery. Did you guys see that? caught on the paper. Very, very flexy though. Also very prone to not wanting to ink. I have a feeling I'm going to have to put this in the further testing pile, aren't I? You guys are going to end up wanting to see this. Okay. And that, I believe, leaves us with just one more. We have the Hunt 102. A little loose in the Tachikawa. Might have to use an actual crow quill nib holder. I mean, this is a crow quill nib holder, but I might have to use a different one. Oh, it is super prone. I will zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. It is super prone to catching on the paper. Oh, and it just fell off into my ink. <sighs> and I don't have any tweezers. <laughs> Mm, yeah, just soak up all that ink. Do it. Mm, I don't know what to do about this. I don't want to retrieve it. I don't have nails anymore. I bit them all off during a friend's wedding. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. And I have a cat on my lap and there's no paper towels or anything within. <laughs> like, I can't. I need help. I need an adult. I need an adult. Thank you, adult. Toilet oh, paper. It'll work. This is why it's nice to have not just cats around the studio, which are not nice to have around the studio, in my opinion. They are very demanding beasts who prevent me from getting up and grabbing the things I need to grab. Looking at you, guilty party on my lap. Um, it's nice to have an adult around the studio. All right, so I have another Tachikawa nib holder and I don't think I've ever used it on this channel. It is a little mint colored one and it's got a little brass post. Look at my hands, super dupes, inky. Let's see if it'll work. No, it's gonna be too loose. Oh, Hunt Nibs, you are kind of a pain in the boot. Let's see what I got. I actually, I don't think I have a crow quill holder that does not have a crow quill permanently set as a fixture we may we may be stuck this might be it for today yeah those are all in there super good aha wow hmm <laughs> i'm not the best nib mother in fact i think this is the same type of nib I'm going to put in there and it had quit working. That's why I let it just atrophy in the holder. All right, there we go. Mr. Hunt 102, problematic little hunt. Well, 
it's not bad for as long as you can get it to to work. So we now have a bunch of nibs to test. And I was so, I was so close to being done. I was so close, y'all. I was so close. And then I was like, I should be more thorough. That's what it gets me. Super inky hands. So I guess we have, let's see now. One, two, three, four, five. Five new nibs for you guys to look forward to. More inky fingers. I hope you guys will stick around, check that out, check out some of my other nib review videos here on this channel. And uh, if you have experience that is contrary to mine, link me to it. I love giving people better rounded opinions, giving people better rounded reviews. And the only way I can do that is if somebody dissents. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.